Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews for another episode of. Footy Friday, that's right, it is already that time. Thank you so much for joining me this week for another episode. And today I'm looking at something that I've never done on any of the channels as far as reactions. Looking at the commentary, commentary reactions. And I've got a few requests for looking at commentary um, for this or that. Most recently from Yum, he wanted me to check out, he or she wanted me to check out the AFL best commentary moments. But... I found a video that really interested me, one guy in particular. I don't know too much about Brian Taylor, but I'm looking at a video called Boy Oh Boy Wowie. I'm guessing that's his like, famous call. The best of Brian Taylor. And Brian Taylor, I looked up him a, a little bit of information on him. He's a former uh, Australian footballer himself. He played for Richmond and Collingwood. He won the Coleman Medal, which I'm assuming is probably equivalent to maybe the best goal scorer or maybe that's the MVP award. I'm not sure. In 1986, he was also the leading goal kicker in 82, 84 through 89. He had to retire a little early because of injury. But now, supposedly, he's a famous commentator for AFL. And I'm looking forward to – he's a commentator for the Seven Network. I'm looking forward to hearing some of his calls. What would sports be like without commentary? I don't even want to try to imagine it. Sometimes I'll put my, my sport on mute because I'm like doing work that involves me having to listen to audio for something else or maybe it's too loud and the kids or whatever or my wife, I'm driving her crazy. It's just not the same. It's just not the same without the commentary. And as a Padres fan for baseball or a Chargers fan, it's certain years were tough when the commentary wasn't as good or you didn't have a a commentator that was colorful enough or excited enough. It drives me crazy when you have commentaries that are just so drab and just, oh, the guy caught the ball. Even when it's for their own team, especially when it's for the other team. If the other team gets a home run or gets a touchdown or something, they are so unexcited, so boring about it. When it's their team, they lose their minds. But not to get too off task, the commentary makes such a difference. It makes those moments super exciting. As an American, what would be the miracle on ice watching that over and over without the great commentary? Do you believe in miracles? Yes! By Al Michaels, right? I mean, so John Madden, great for American football as far as a commentator. Um, Vin Scully for the hated Dodgers, great on the mic, great in commentary. What would be sports without the 1988 World Series with Kurt Gibson? She's out of here. The impossible has happened. It, it just makes things great. Um, and I love it. So I'm going to be looking at Brian Taylor's best moments. Don't forget here on Boring Reviews, we check this out every single week. A different AFL video. If you have a video on a request, go ahead and put it in the comment section. I will be reading it, I promise. Even if I forget to comment or give you a heart, I will be reading your comment. I appreciate that. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, the more subscriptions for AFL videos knows lets me know that you want me to keep doing this over and over. Really appreciate that. And with no further ado, let's go ahead and check this out right now. With the full force of his body, and now Roughhead. That was out of bounds. 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 As if they can hear him. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, there you go. Big non-decision there, I reckon, Dars. But McDonald. I thought that was out of bounds. It was like a giant clam. I'm horrible at that. Closing in on Lamb. Bang. Just shut. And there was no getting out of that. They're piling in from everywhere. He sounds like the mouse from Rescue Rangers. A lot of jumperies going on. So the little sneaky one. Jake Stringer said, this is what I do for dinner. This is like having a hot meal for me. Get me in amongst it. Give me a knife and fork. And I'm ready to eat any customer that comes my way. I've never heard that before. Tarzan. He's very original. Oh, Shay with some 
Look at this guy with the two arms down. He's got a hand on each jersey. Laugh at this guy, that sucks to pull your hamstring, but just the way he described it. Luke Beveridge looks on and cannot believe what he's yeah, he looks shocked. To his best player, Johannesson goal, and string has gone bang. Oh, gosh, that's rough. Photographers there in the background. This one's Ooh, bending, 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 there. bending. These are his two former teams. That's the impossible bender. Cyril, has he got oh, Cyril. Rioli. So. Rioli has. He has. He has. <laughs> I like that. Goal, Cyril. What a beauty. Dixon there trying to nudge his man under the footy pick and will keep it alive. He does. They gave up on a high speed right, but no. Yeah. Pickens kicked the ripper. They gave up on the cats. <laughs> he uses his entire voice. Oh boy. He must strain that every match. Referee is saying it was a penalty. That sounds just like Monterey, the mouse from Rescue Rangers. Fantasia, that's from Neverending Story. I think it's also a Disney movie. Oh! Oh, they see Cox. <coughs> Why didn't he just kick it? 
trying to be too close. <laughs> that was cool. That was that was a very good video. That was awesome. I love a good commentator. They make such a difference. And I notice two things with Brian Taylor here because again, I love commentators. I pay attention to as much as I can. Two things. One, he's very unique in the things that he's describing. He doesn't fall into and maybe he does in other matches and usual. I don't know. But in that highlight clip at least, he's not fallen into the usual um, run of the mill commentator stuff, you know, commentator 101. Here's some, here's 20 or 25 phrases you have in your back pocket. You can use it anytime when you're not feeling like giving it your best. He, he didn't do that. He's very, very unique talking about different things, whether it's hyperbolic or not. Very much enjoyed the different things that he was saying, the way he's describing how things looks. I could imagine how enjoyable that would be if you're just listening to it, like on a radio or just the audio of the, of the commentary. You're not able to see anything. He's going to describe you a very good picture. He's going to add that entertainment and that flavor to it. The other thing I noticed is he, he's very direct, very to the point. When he's not giving those fantastic, unique descriptions of what's going on, he's very direct, and he doesn't try to bog it down with too much jargon. He just goes right for it. I really, really like that. And I guess third one thing I really liked was the fact that he, I mean, he gets so animated. He uses every part of his diaphragm, right? Every single part of his voice he gets so animated. He uses all of his energy in that, and I think that's that's fantastic. That makes for a good listen, makes for a good a good watch. And very very impressed with with what he did there with Brian Taylor. I'm curious what your thoughts are on Brian Taylor. How you think is he one? Is he your favorite? Is he the best in the best? Is he one of the best ones? Is he not really your best? And also, I know I can look it up, but I, I want to interact with you guys. Is he the voice of Monterey Jack, I think is the character's name, from Rescue Rangers? Did he do any voice work? I'm sure there's other guys that sound just like him, but his tone sounds just... I used to watch that show as a kid. I recognize it right away. I want to know if I'm correct with uh, spotting that because he sounds so familiar. And as I look at my Adelaide rundown for the year, they started off 3-1, and one, and then I chose them as my team, and they've lost three in a row. They lost to Port Adelaide in the Battle of the Adelaides, and they got smashed. Oh, they got smashed. Oh, man. They got smashed the last two times. The Hawthorne match was really close, but on the 30th, they got beat 106-39? to 39? And then the last match, 87-38. to 38. Oh, gosh, it's the tridents of the AFL. They can't score any uh, goals. I got, I'm got. i sorry, Adelaide. All Crows fans, I'm sorry I did it to your squad. I jinxed them. I mushed them. But that was a great video. Commentary was fantastic. Very, very entertaining. I'm sure for a lot of you that are big-time fans, you remember some of those moments, and so it means a lot more. Like, do you believe in miracles means so much more because I know the story, I know the history, I know what's going on, I know the weight of that semifinal match. That wasn't even the final match. People forget about that. When they beat the Soviets, that wasn't the final match. That was the semifinal. But I know about that history. I'm sure you do. You do too. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know who's the best commentator, who's your favorite. If it's not Brian Taylor, if it is, let me know that too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And until next time. Adiós.